cult leader, cowboy cult leader. So look, I'm going for it tonight. Uh, I hope it's working for you. It's working for me. I've got Irish hair. It's in recession. <laughs> but uh, I could put a bit of a fiscal stimulus on it later and brighten it up a bit. But seriously, now there is, there is a, a, a lot of unemployment in my hair. Um, <laughs> but I remain firmly opposed to cuts. <laughs> I, do, I do martial arts. This is one of my favorite moves. I'll break it down for you. <coughs> Distract the mother. Push the fire. Distract the mother. Push the fire. And uh, yes, it's just devastating, it's highly effective. <laughs> Anyone into that from ancient Egypt? Okay. Just the one. <laughs> Shit. They said, Pat, there's going to be loads of people in the night from ancient Egypt. <laughs> Big all your best material about ancient Egypt. I said, are you sure? They said, bloody yes, what's the fuck? Do my joke in hieroglyphic. <laughs> hey. <laughs> hey. <laughs> Buddy. What? <laughs> it's not the first time there's been an insufficient number of ancient Egyptians in the audience, and it won't be the last. You're right, no, I'm gonna do this. Yeah, I'm gonna do this. They need this, we need this. Okay, we're gonna do a token home this. Woo! Now, I know some of you can't read uh, hieroglyphics due to the Tory cuts. <laughs> but it's a visual language, so if you keep your eyes open, you should be able to see the punchline. I'm gonna perform the hieroglyphs for you now, okay. Eagle. Stick on the ground. Six. Punch. 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 Love. Yeah, yeah, you got it. Yeah, woo! Fantastic. So proud of you. You got a joke in hieroglyphics. Um, I know it didn't quite work, but that's okay. We took a risk together, and I think our relationship is. <laughs> this is probably a good time for me to introduce my wife. Have you met my? Have you met? Have you met my? Have you met my wife? Vicar, Vicar, permit me, permit me, Vicar, if you will, to introduce, permit me, Vicar, to introduce my wife. She was my girlfriend before, now she's my wife. And um, that, ladies and gentlemen, is because we got married. That's how that works, apparently. <laughs> and I don't want to say wife jokes, because I'm a progressive liberal. Woo! Tell you about the crowd in tonight. <laughs> so I don't want to do wife jokes, so when I talk about her, I'm going to use her full and proper title. So my wife, the Internationally renowned ethical fashion blogger, Miss Zoe Edwards. Woo! Some of her fans in tonight. <laughs> Actually, she's in tonight. She is real, I told you. Um, uh, the reason that I, I mentioned her is because I was, yeah, I've got some material about her. <laughs> okay, no, but yeah, we're trying for a baby. That's it, yeah, we're trying for a baby. It's a big thing to forget. Um, <laughs> <laughs> so uh, what we do is uh, we, we dig into traps in the park. <laughs> See if we can catch one. <laughs> Digging a hole. Look at him, he's never had a spade in his life. <laughs> yes, I have, fuck you. Look, I dug a hole in the park like this. And then uh, covered it over with leaves. <laughs> Look at him, he's never covered a hole with leaves in his life. No, no, I did, I did. And uh, then what we did, so we just put a little, uh, just a little, little baby chino there, just on top. <laughs> baby chino, ladies and gentlemen, uh, cappuccino, no coffee in it, four, babe. 
And we did that, we put that there because we want to catch a middle class baby. <laughs> I wish I hadn't put that hole there, no, it's a bloody liability. <laughs> and a difficult thing um, about trying for a baby, uh, particularly if you're a woman, is knowing when uh, exactly to stop drinking. <laughs> do you stop drinking as soon as you start trying, or do you wait for a positive test result and then stop drinking? So we talked about this, my wife, the internationally renowned the fashion bloggers over here tonight, and uh, we came to the conclusion that if the kid can't handle a few drinks, probably not going to fit into a snowman anyway. <laughs> That's natural selection. <laughs> so we don't want to know the, uh, we, don't, we don't want people to buy gender specific gifts for our children, so we're going to hide the gender. Um, and that's, that's common now, I mean, for my, my sister's child, for his birthday, I bought him some aphids. <laughs> uh, look, um, Look, it's not easy to get an aphid's punchline into a set, so you might want to go back and laugh at that one a bit more later. <laughs> I know, look, I know, Louise did mention that, I'm kind of doing maybe intelligent comedy. <laughs> uh, so what, what I'm willing to do is I'm willing to stay back after the set, and uh, if anyone's got any questions, uh, <laughs> I'll, I'll explain in detail where you should have laughed and why. That's out of my own pocket as well, there's no extra charge for that, so I just thought I'd put that out there. And, oh! 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 I've fallen in my own comedy hole. I've got a baby chino on the back of my jeans. It's, it's a terrible stain, that. So I'm going to just fill that back in, health and safety. Look at him, he's never played football in his life. No, fuck you, that's a good pass. That's how you do football, isn't it? But anyway, I'm not doing that, I'm filling in the hole. Anyway, I'm going to be a dad, so you've got to, you've got to think about um, toys. So I've been thinking a lot about toys. What would be the perfect toy for a middle class, progressive little child? And uh, it's got to be vegan, obviously. It's got to be uh, handmade, fair trade. Um, it's got to be gender, gender neutral. It's got to be educational. Um, so I've come up with this, and I think it, it fits the bill. I know, stunned silence. Yeah, you're witnessing something big here and you realise it. Um, I call this the Imaginarium because it's, it's, uh, it could be anything that your child imagines it could be. So, uh, <coughs> it could be anything. Anything. That's what they used to call it. That's true. Anything you wish for. So it limits the horizon of your dreams. Anything that's the magic of the imaginarium. It can be a rifle. It can be a sword. It can be a machine gun. The imaginarium. Oh, it can be a whip. Oh, oh. It can be a garrot. This is the boys' one, obviously. I took the girls one as well, but I left it at home, it's not much fun. <laughs> Brush your hair with it, pretend it's a cake. <laughs> anyway, you guys have been absolutely the best stand-up comedy audience I have ever had. <laughs> if anyone wants to buy shares in the imaginary matter, I'll see you there. <laughs>